It's a great honor and privilege for me to be a co-recipient of the BBVA Foundation's Frontiers of Knowledge Award for Climate Change, together with Professors Neil Adger and Ian Burton. It was a wonderful surprise to receive the phone call informing me of the award. The call came on a dark winter afternoon during the COVID lockdown in the middle of a Zoom meeting. I was at a loss for words, in this case truly muted by the honor. It was a moment that I'll always remember. I consider the prestigious Frontiers of Knowledge Award to be a valuable recognition of the research that we've been doing in collaboration and in community with so many other scholars who are seeking to understand the social and human dimensions of climate change. How do climate change impacts affect society? Why are some people or groups more vulnerable than others? And how can we adapt to risks that we ourselves are creating? Most of all, how do we tra transform society in an equitable and sustainable manner? My research has been motivated by a concern over what climate change means for equity and human security, and it is focused on why climate change is so much more than an environmental problem. It is, in fact, a social problem, a cultural problem, and a human problem. And as a result, we need broader and deeper approaches to both understand and address it. Almost 25 years ago, my close collaborator, Professor Robin Lyshenko, and I started to look at how climate change and globalization processes intersect and interact to create winners and losers. We also looked at how they create mutual feedbacks, for example, through the melting of Arctic ice that opens up new trade and shipping routes and facilitates access to more oil and mineral resources. We refer to these interactions as double exposure. And recently we have seen cases of double exposure play out systematically all over the world. The social and human outcomes of climate change are neither random nor unexpected. And during the COVID pandemic, it has become clear that health crises, economic crises, and climate crises must be looked at together. Together, they're shaping the context for human development and sustainability. Responses to climate change must focus not only on reducing greenhouse gas emissions, but also on reducing the underlying drivers of social vulnerability and protecting biodiversity and ecosystems that are vital to a thriving planet. As a society, we will need to adapt to dramatic changes in the coming decades. And to do this, we first need to adapt to the very idea that we are capable of transforming complex, large-scale systems, such as the climate. And we must acknowledge and explore how we can transform energy systems, food systems, mobility systems, education systems, and social systems in an equitable, ethical, and sustainable manner. The Frontiers of Knowledge Award attests to the importance of research and its important role in society. As scientists, many of us recognize that research as usual is no longer enough within the context of climate change. And I believe that we are all committed to making our research really matter. Collectively, we have an opportunity to co-create a world that works for everyone. And I'm so grateful that this year's BBVA Foundation's Frontiers of Knowledge Award for Climate Change recognizes the importance of social science perspectives on climate change. I am truly honored to receive this reward today, together with my distinguished colleagues. Thank you so much.